It's Thursday. Right round the corner, down by the canyon, I met a man who lost his way. He said, Girls, it's Thursday. This is the last time you're going to see me in this room. Yeah. So I don't know if everyone knew, but I am moving. Um, my roommate, one of my roommates and I are going, um, actually, you will recognize the house I am in when we move because it is uh, the house that I, my family lived in for a really long time. And um, there are some changes happening in my family and uh, Katie and I are moving into that house with my dad. So um, we're going to have kind of like an apartment within the house type thing. But that is what we're doing and our other roommate got um, is buying a house. So um, we're going our, our ways. Luckily Katie's going with me so that's very happy news. She's a wonderful roommate. Um, and so we're trying to get everything out of here by Tuesday. So this is definitely the last time you're going to see this space. Um, and this is um, a scarf that Amy sent me that she got in Morocco and I cried and cried and cried when she sent it to me. Um, I've been struggling a lot lately, very upset, very angry with what's happening and with what's going on with my body and everything is just very stressful. Um, and so to get such a lovely gift just kind of sent me over the edge. So I'm just going to cry some more. Um, we're talking about body positivity blogs and YouTube channels today. Of course, I suggest topics that I don't know anything about, and I don't know why I do this. But there's a list I'm going to put in the doobly-doo of, of, like, all fat positivity and body positivity blogs. And there's some in particular that I really like, and I wrote them down. Um, one is called Fat from the Side, and it's about, um, there's, like, a lot of pictures of people, um, from different angles and saying, you know, loving yourself even from the side, which they know is a lot of people's hardest view of themselves. Um, there's one called Body Posy that I really like. Um, Addy Positively Fabulous is probably the best, I think, um, blog on there. They're all, I think they're all tumblers. Um, and one that's called Stop Hating Your Body, and that's for body acceptance and all of that kind of stuff. Um, for YouTube channels, I watched The Biggest Beauty Project, and it used to be Project Life Size. Um, Gloria has a new channel, uh, Glow Pinksta. She has a collab, I think it's a collab, about uh, body positivity, which I posted on our Facebook page. Um, and I don't know if The Real Evolution still makes videos, and I should because I'm friends with one of the people in it, but I don't actually know that, and that's probably bad. But, um, yeah, if anyone finds them, just send them to us, post them on our Facebook page, um, email them to us, tweet them, whatever, submit them to our Tumblr, whatever, and we will try and compile a list, maybe, and give people some resources that aren't just us talking about our lives. Um, so that's that on the topic. Um, Katie, I really liked what you had to say about being an only child, um, I'm really uh, introverted too. When I was a kid, I spent a lot of time alone and not really that much time with my siblings. I love my siblings, but they both um, spent a little more time with other people. And I tended to be kind of at home. And I was very close to my parents and that kind of thing. Um, but I know a lot of only children that are not selfish. And I don't think I know that there's a stigma about only children, but I really just don't believe that it's about being an only child. I believe that the way you interact with other people is totally representative of the way your parents raise you. And um, I think your parents did a great job, and some people's parents don't. So, but I know that that's totally annoying that people say things like that. My best friend Katie, the other one, not my roommate, but um, her... Uh, uh, she's an only child of older parents too and um, she's totally great because she has great parents and it's not because 
she's an anomaly, but she's just totally great. And I don't know why I'm fixating on you, but I'm just talking to you, apparently. I miss you. Um, Nancy, your videos, everything you say just inspires me, and I just love you. So I'm so glad that you're here. Um, Samantha, Kelly, I adore you just your entire lives. I adore everything about you. And girls, just so you know, we're going to have to work this out. But um, in my new place of residence, Katie and I will have a guest room. And um, that does mean that there's a place for you all to stay when you come for my graduation. So you should start planning that. If I can, why don't you wait till I make sure I'm going to graduate? But start planning to come. Okay. I love you.